Have you ever been in a situation where you felt like your body odor was holding you back? For some people, it's not just an occasional concern, it's a daily struggle. This condition is known as bromhydrosis, and it can seriously affect your confidence and quality of life. Bromhydrosis, also called osmodrosis, is a condition where the body produces a foul-smelling odor due to sweat breaking down on the skin. But not all sweat is the same. There are two main types of bromhydrosis, and understanding them can help you figure out the best way to manage it. Our bodies have two types of sweat glands, eccrine glands which are found all over the body, and apocrine glands which are concentrated in areas like the armpits and groin. The difference? Eccrine sweat is mostly water, while apocrine sweat contains fats and proteins that bacteria love to feast on, and it's these bacteria that produce the bad smell. Several factors contribute to bromhydrosis. Genetics can play a role, making some people more prone to strong body odor. Diet also matters. Certain foods like garlic, onions, and even alcohol can intensify the smell. Poor hygiene can allow bacteria to thrive, but sometimes, even with good hygiene, the condition persists. For some people, underlying health conditions like hyperhidrosis, excessive sweating, diabetes, or kidney issues may increase the risk. The good news, Bromhydrosis can be diagnosed easily by your healthcare provider. They'll ask about your medical history and examine the areas where odor is most noticeable. In rare cases, they might run tests to identify the specific bacteria causing the smell. Now let's talk about treatment options. If you struggle with bromhydrosis, there are several ways to manage it effectively. 1. Topical antimicrobials. These help reduce the number of bacteria on your skin. Products like benzoyl peroxide or prescription antibiotics can make a big difference. 2. Antiperspirants. Aluminum chloride-based antiperspirants can reduce sweating especially in the underarm area. 3. Botulinum toxin injections. If your bromhydrosis is linked to excessive sweating, botulinum toxin injection can be used to block the nerves that cause the glands to produce sweat. 4. Laser hair removal. Since apocrine glands are often connected to hair follicles, laser hair removal can reduce sweat and odor in certain areas. And 5. Surgery. In severe cases, a doctor might suggest surgical options like removing the apocrine glands in the underarm area. In addition to medical treatments, lifestyle changes can make a huge difference in controlling bromhydrosis. First, practice good hygiene. Shower regularly and use antibacterial soap to reduce bacteria on your skin. Next, use deodorants or antiperspirants. Deodorants mask odor, while antiperspirants reduce sweating. Also, wear breathable fabrics. Natural fibers like cotton allow your skin to breathe and reduce sweat buildup. Lastly, watch your diet. Certain foods like spicy or strongly flavored foods can make body odor worse, so avoiding these might help. Bromhydrosis can take a toll on your mental health. Many people feel embarrassed or socially anxious because of their body odor, but remember, you're not alone. With the right treatment and support, you can manage bromhydrosis and regain your confidence. If you're struggling with bromhydrosis, know that it's a treatable condition. Whether through medical treatments or simple lifestyle changes, you can get back to feeling fresh and confident every day. Don't let bromhydrosis hold you back. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more tips on living a healthier life.